start with Ben. Eddie, I know a lot of you and your teammates have a lot of experience, but you're you're seeing a lot of things for the first time this year. Um, what do you feel like has has put you all in a position to go through a regional, now take on supers, that kind of stuff? Um, what's kind of built you up to the point where you can handle that as well as you have? I think us as a team, we've just really grown in a lot of ways, including just everybody being on the same page and knowing what we can do. In the past, there have been people that have been on board and some people that haven't. And I think just everybody being on the same page and, and I mean, taking advantage of their role as best as they can in ways to help the team has really benefited us in every way. Um, not to mention, we're always really prepared on and off the field when it comes to watching film and getting everything done on the field that we can. So, I mean, we're just prepared and we have everybody in the dugout helping out in any way that we can do it. Andrew and then Eric. Uh, Eddie, what, what's the scouting report on James Madison? Clearly, they, they've only lost one game all season, so they, they got to be pretty good. Uh, what, what, I guess, scares you the most about them? Um, I mean, I don't think we've been intimidated by a team yet. We know uh, what we have, and, I mean, we'll just see what they have when they get here. We know that they have one really uh, – one main pitcher, uh, really, that that's all they have when it comes to pitching-wise. She's pitched most of their innings. We played them last year and got a chance to hit off of her and see their offense. So, we know what we're up against, and, I mean, we know we're a good team and we can hang with anybody, so we're excited to see – how this weekend goes and hopefully we can take it in two instead of having to go for three. So. Hattie coach has mentioned a couple times that she's heard from various alumni who she didn't coach that are here, uh, you know, that have just congratulated her on the national seat and then making the super regionals. Have you heard from anybody? And if so, what have those conversations been like? I mean, we have had several alumni be here, girls that I've played with and girls that I haven't. And just here, I mean, I have heard from several of them as, um, as them coming to me personally and like through coach telling us that they've said that. And it's just really awesome to know that we have their support, even though like they haven't played with any of us on the team and knowing that they're here. I mean, there've been many of them at the games and that's just awesome to see. They're always rooting for us and giving us tips on how, like what to do when it goes in to getting like deep into postseason like this, because not many of us have been this far. So it's really cool to have them on our side and just to see that they're still supporting us. Ben and then Colin. Hattie, there's so much talk about home field advantage. And, and can you put into words maybe how that environment last weekend, and uh, you would imagine you'd expect this weekend, but how that environment actually helps improve your play and, and helps the team in that way? I mean, it just gave us so much more energy than we could have even imagined. It, like, even for, like, the young girls that have never played in front of a crowd like that, they were all just in shock about how much and uh, how many people showed up and how much energy it brought to us. We were, we're more involved with the crowd that way. And I think that that gets us more, more hype when it comes to uh, being in the dugout, like while we're on offense and even on defense. So it was incredible to see that many people there. I've never seen that many people in this stadium before and just seeing how excited they are for us and how much they're supporting us through, through the season, even though it's been kind of weird and crazy with COVID and everything is just incredible. And I definitely say we had an advantage last week and just from everybody being here. Um, I, I expect it to be the same this weekend, and I'm hoping that uh, even more people show up, and hopefully it'll uh, feed into our energy a lot too this weekend as well. Yeah, Hattie, this team this year has been so good scoring in the first three innings that first turned to the order, and a lot of that starts with Brooke, Jenna, and you up at the top, but just what was it about this squad that's so good and in, in, in plating runs early and giving your pitchers, your young pitchers, that, that little confidence there? I mean, I've said it a million times. There's not one person in our lineup that we don't trust. Every single person, no matter who it is, you can go up, you can, uh, you have faith in them that they can get the job done. So it's not just, I mean, it's Brooke getting on base and us keeping it going, but you get down to six, seven, eight, nine, it's, it's still strong as well. We always know that we have a chance at any part of the lineup. And I think that that takes a huge role on how much success we've had this year. I mean, in the past, we've had the first four or five, uh, hitters really strong and then the bottom of our lineup has been kind of weak but this year I mean I've said it in some of these interviews before I don't know how people throw to us because it's like there's a person in every part of our lineup that is strong whether it's getting a bunt down or hitting a gap or hitting it over the fence we can do it all so I think that's why we've been so successful this year. Andrew then Colin. Addy what, what would it mean to you and this team to, to make it to the, the World Series? 
I mean, like any team, I think it'd be just a dream come true. I mean, that's something that we've all uh, dreamt of since we were kids watching uh, girls like us play at this level. Um, I know the thing is, like, we know we can do it. It's just getting past these two games and really pushing through and focusing on these next two wins. I know that at the beginning of the year, it's I mean, it's always a goal every year that we have is to make it to the World Series. But there have been some years where it's more real, realistic than others. And this year, it's one of those things where, like, we know we can do it. So if we don't, it would be really it'd be really devastating. So it's just trusting ourselves and believing in one another. And like I said earlier, all of us being on the same page has made a huge difference in this year compared to the past. We, uh, we all want it. And it's, you can tell at practice, we talk about it constantly like, Oh, we want to win so bad this weekend. So it's just really preparing and focusing on these next two games and hopefully making it to the world series. That's something that we've, that we've always talked about and dreamt of. So. Yeah, I was going to ask you kind of a similar question for you personally in your last go around. What does the opportunity this weekend mean to you and the potential of, of Oklahoma City? I mean, it's these past couple of weeks have been emotional for me just because I, I do have an extra year of eligibility, but I've decided not to take it. So this is these are the next couple of weeks of the last weeks I'll play. And that's really hard. But I think everybody has the, those kind of emotions, knowing how far we can get and what we're able to do. So. I know everybody's trying to win for each other and especially knowing that these are my last couple couple weeks everybody's really pushing for our seniors and wanting to win for for us as well as everybody else but uh it's just coming from where I've come my freshman year and the teams that I've played with we've always been good but this team is just different we're all so close and we all it's it's not like other teams we all want us to succeed no matter like who we are people that um, aren't everyday players still want us to do the best that we can. And every single person in the lineup, you turn around, you know that the next person has your back and wants you to do, do the best that you can do. So just making it as far as we can with this team means everything to me. And knowing that we can do it is even more exciting. So. Anthony? Yeah, you mentioned how it's uh, a dream of all of you guys to be able to play in the College World Series. And, you know, being so close, how difficult it is, is it to kind of – not focus on being that close and just focusing on the games and how you guys been able to do that. It's really hard, actually. I mean, just kind of, kind of focusing on the next two games and not looking past that at all. Just make, making sure it's going one game at a time saying, looking at Friday and saying, we're going to win this game. And then going to Saturday saying, we're going to win this game, not saying, Oh, but if we lose and we have to come back and win twice, but if we win, we're going to go to the world series. It's really hard to keep focus. I mean, it's hard to keep the upperclassmen focus, let alone the, the freshmen and underclassmen. So it's just something that we've been practicing on, like not practicing on, working on and talking about in the locker room and in the dugout, just saying one game at a time, one pitch at a time, and just uh, going at it that way so we don't get too excited for what's ahead. Any more questions for Hetty? All right. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.